Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today I hit Detective level 46. With this, I got a new spell, and I kind of want to showcase and show you guys what this all does and is. Um, and you'll be learning right alongside me, because this is the first time I've seen it. Um, so hopefully in today's video, we'll uh, kind of figure out what this is all about and understand it. Um, one thing I also want to kind of mention here is if you don't already have the Store Drift spell, definitely take a look at one of my videos called the Always Banking spell. It's very, very useful. Um, all professions can actually bank using Store Drifts. It's just so useful, and I've heard a lot of people not know about it. So um, doing the Spider Nest quest in Hope Forest is very helpful. Okay, let's continue on. Detect Aura. It's a new spell we're going to be grabbing right now from Galablast the Ragged. You have to get level 46 and grab a Moderate Investigation. So, could you teach me any magic? I can transfer some of my magical knowledge, but it's quite exhausting, so I'd rather not. However, I've heard you've done so much good. Let's do it. So, we're getting our magic spell, number six, Detect Aura. So, we're going to learn a little bit about this uh, here in just a minute, but I do want to say one more thing. So, if you are a detective or you want to play uh, as a detective and level up this profession, one thing you should know about is the wanted posters. So, we're going to run over to the wanted posters real quick and kind of showcase what that is. At level 43, you unlock wanted posters for the first time. So again, as we, I'm going the wrong way, but as we run over there, uh, I want to talk a little bit about what it does. So at 43, you can start putting out a wanted poster that is the Dumpy Smith. It's going to look like this. It's going to say wanted for assault and fly tipping. So of course, this is going to get you actually XP as soon as you put the poster up. The cool thing about this is it's actually just free XP, and I mean that literally. Um, you just put it on the poster board every, I don't know exactly the time limit, so let's look at this right here, wanted poster board, and it's basically a daily. Unfortunately, we do have dailies in the game. The only one that I know of right now is this, though, so it might not be too bad, uh, but it's a venture right here. If you actually see, I have four tabs now in the top right, so if you click this venture, it's going to say Dumpy Smith wanted posters reward already given slot becomes real available in 10 hours and one minute. So I have one slot open right now uh, for these ventures. And so, like I said, at level 43 detective, you unlock this and you can actually input a wanted poster and it'll give you a little bit of boost of XP there for a second, not a boost, but it'll give you a flat amount of XP right when you put it in. So uh, you do have to wait for it to come back. I think it's 12 hours for the whole thing to elapse and then you get it again. So definitely take advantage of that. If you do hit level 43 detective, uh, another thing I want to talk about though, is obviously, like I said, that detect aura spell. So let's talk a little bit about it. So it looks like if you click the detect aura spell, um, you can actually see it's interesting. So uh, it looks like you get auras around people. I don't know what they really do as of now. Let's see if we see somebody steal here in a second. These guys all paid. They didn't steal, so it's going to be hard to tell there. I'm very curious on what this detect aura does, so I'm going to skip to a point to where I actually know what it does and kind of talk about it with you guys. So what we actually figured out is you'll just go to the investigation board, and we actually unlocked the moderate investigations. If we take a look at the detective skill... It unlocked moderate investigations at level 46 with the detect aura skill. So you're just going to need both to do some of these. It's going to help you out. Um, so the first thing we're going to see here is we have two options. Um, I already have one clicked though. So we're going to go with that one. It gives me 5,368 XP and about 14 silver. So let's do that real quick together and take a look at this, uh, this spell and see what it actually does for us. So again, this is the sixth spell we've gotten. If you guys have spells that I do not have, definitely let me know. I'm very curious on that. Um, so let's just continue on and let's see what the first thing we should do is if you guys haven't done these before, there are clues and you can actually show on the map. So Ratmore Road is the first place we're going to go, which is kind of funny because we were just there. That's where we actually got the spell. So knowing the map is going to be absolutely huge when you're doing either the market or sorry, merchant profession or even doing the detective profession. They're gonna be huge for just getting around very, very quickly. So it looks like we actually may have just found where you use it, because if we look at this clue, it says some sort of magical aura here. So this is where we're actually gonna use the detect, um, and this is actually where we're gonna get the XP, and then we're gonna reinvestigate it, and they're going to tell us you sense the aura of death. And that'll really help us make the call on who this could be when we're going to the investigation and calling out who this is. So let's go to the last spot, which is the East Courtyard. Okay, so we finally made it back to the detective area, and we're actually going to hop in here and show you guys the detect aura and how it all works. Um, so the first thing we're going to see here is with the clues, we have wine stain, 
Necrome Aura, and Brown Hair. So I assume for this, we are going to have to use that Detect Aura. We have two, we have four Necromes, which is obviously the black. Um, then we have Wine Stain and Brown Hair. So any of these guys have brown hair. So two brown hairs and then a Wine Stain, which would be this purple one, I assume. So we're going to rest Ashley. So it's actually pretty easy to use this Detect Aura spell. Um, it's very, very basic, though. You're just going to be using it to complete more investigations on the investigation board. Doesn't add a huge part of the game. My very, very best guess is that with, which, by the way, we can't do this quest yet, the Battle of Fortune Hold most likely uses the Detect Aura spell to actually finish it or complete it because it's a Tier 2 or a 2-star, which means it usually requires pretty high-level requirements. Um, so because of that, I think, like I said, it uses that probably detect or a spell to actually be complete the battle with fortune hold. So we'll see. But, uh, yeah, like I said, this is not a completable quest until the main quest is completable as well. Uh, or we can get at least farther in the main quest. So I am as far as I can be on that. So that is the detect or spell. Hopefully that made sense to you guys. It really wasn't a huge deal. I just wanted to kind of mention what it does since I did just get to it. And probably a lot of you guys are not gunning for detective as much as I am. And I wanted to kind of showcase what this six spell is. And uh, before we got questions on it. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. We're going to be talking a lot more about brighter shores in the upcoming days and weeks ahead. So thanks again. Happy leveling. And I'll see you all in the next one.